going on YouTube? My name is Gabe. I am a music producer and avid golfer. Um, we're here today at Ledger Golf and Country Club and it's to kick off my first golf vlog. Um, this is my first time doing this. I'm trying it out. So I'm going to uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm genuinely curious to see how I'm able to put this together. I'm just learning how to edit videos and make stuff happen. So this is uh, test one. Let me know if it's dope. Alright, so this is what happens when you don't warm up and you go straight from the car right to the <laughs> tee. Um, so I'm just gonna try and punch this out, see how close we can get it. Cool, right in front. Let's see what's going on. Alright, we got a little pinch at the back, a little slope. Uh, Looks like it slopes down. So just gonna try and throw it back there, get it to roll out. Greens are really slow because it's wet. And uh, we'll see if we can get it tight. Hmm. Might be a little too much, but I'll take it. So just pick up this Scotty Cameron Newport 3. Um, bought it off my buddy Alex. I love this putter. So we'll see what we can do with it. Not a bad bogey to start, let's go to two. All right, we're here on hole two. Uh, looks like 150 yards or so. Um, I gotta get a range finder. It's one thing I've never invested in. And normally I just steal yardages off my buddies because <laughs> they, uh, they're the ones who can help me make it happen. Um, so yeah, just gonna kind of throw a nice little eight iron in there and uh, see how we do. Too much. Okay. Back left, uh, back left corner. All right, not bad. Um, thank God for slow greens in uh, the winter, because <laughs> uh, I guess you know got some got some good landing right there. A little bit of rollout, but not too much rollout where I uh, can't make a putt. So let's uh, let's see if we can make a putt here and get a get a birdie. Let's, uh, let's go to three. All right, we're here on three. So uh, got to pull the driver out on this one. Um, as you can see, dog leg right. Uh, well, the driver last year was not the most consistent club, but gets good distance. I, I have an older driver. I, I got to get new clubs, um, but uh, this, you know, I'm using like a Ping I-15 from like 2009 that I bought off a friend for hundred bucks, it does the job, but it's 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 not enough. Maybe we need one of those new flancy uh, 2020 drivers that are coming out. All right, let's hit this. That was very aggressive. <laughs> that was a little a little too aggressive. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we made it over those trees. I don't know. So why am I doing this YouTube channel? Uh, in reality, 2019 sucked. It was a tough year, not gonna lie. It was a tough year. And I've had a couple, you know, tough years um, over the past decade, but 
what I always found is when those tough times would kind of come, it was like, it, I would always get pulled to golf. It was like, I gotta go play golf to kind of make myself feel better. And um, my full-time gig is I'm a music producer, which is, I call it my the, the best real fake job you can have because I just get to make noise all day. But I don't know, there's something about when I would go play golf and I didn't play a ton, but I always just played enough where it would just kind of make me feel better. And, and uh, so for the last 10 years, I didn't really get to play a ton because I was kind of locked in the studio for 18 hours a day. And this year I was like, ah, oh, you know, 2019, I got a golf membership on a whim because honestly, I just wasn't feeling great and I needed to be out there. I needed to meet people. Being locked in the studio kind of sucks after a while. You're kind of inside all day. You don't know what time of day it is. Um, and I just needed a change. And golf kind of always provides that. So my goal for 2020 was to just play more golf, live life a little more, be out here. Um, I was fortunate. I actually made some amazing friends on the golf course. And I just want to, you know, this creates a bit of an excuse to continue that. It, I have to continue and keep that joy alive because I, I need it. I need it to be the best for me. And honestly, I just love it out here. <laughs> so... This channel is going to be a lot of that. A lot of love, a lot of joy. But let's go find this ball. Okay, it was a little aggressive, but we have found the ball. Not too bad. Just under 100 to the pin. Let's, uh, let's see what we can turn this into. Okay, that's pretty short, but not in the bunker. Gonna try and run this up there a little bit. Uh, pins on a down slope. That's not gonna help. All right, let's get it tight. I did not hit that well enough, you know, you just gotta, gotta hit it. Nope. And so the other big purpose for this channel is a bit of like a self-improvement challenge for myself. Uh, I wanna see how good at golf I can get. I never really got to apply um, a ton of like learning power to seeing how good at golf I got. I almost, I always just kind of like played, but never really played too serious, just enjoyed it. But again, never really like hunkered down and tried to apply this, you know, a similar discipline I applied to learning how to be a music producer to learning how to get great at golf. And this year, I want to see how good I can get. My goal is to get to uh, basically shooting even par. And if I can break par before October 1st of 2020. So. That's my challenge. Today is January 8th, 9th, I can't remember. Again, I have a real fake job, so I'm not sure what day of the week it is. Um, yeah, October 1st, 2020, I wanna be able to eat, you know, shoot consistently, uh, even par, and or be able to break par. Um, and that's gonna take a lot of work, and uh, I'm excited. some bunkers on the right not sure if I uh I have no idea where we are let's go see <laughs> oh not enough club hit the sand nope nope too much of the sand all right I am a special kind of stupid for wearing white golf shoes on a muddy course, but they're the only ones I have here. So this is all we got. 
All right, this is uh, this is where we ended up on that last shot. Nice little uh, ball mark here in the fairway. So, I don't know, 60 yards, 50 yards, 40 yards. I need a range finder, guys. All right, let's see what we do. Oh, that kept rolling. That kept rolling. All right, three over through four. Let's go. Okay, I went to the right. <laughs> wow, lost that in the sun hard. So I played this course three times now, and every time I play this hole, like the clouds are always crazy. Like, I don't know, the sky, it's pretty awesome. Um, again, I'm just thankful I get to play golf in, in uh, January, which I've never done. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, that ended up uh, much better than expected. <laughs> So uh, I'll take it. All right, we got a nice little, I don't know, 20 footer for uh, for birdie. Let's uh, let's get it. Not enough. Not enough. Gotta love three putts. All right. All right, so that's four over through five. Should have been a par there. Oh, come on, man. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Welcome to golf. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like the part of my game where it's like, I had a great shot and then I will do something stupid like three putt. Yay. All right, next hole, let's do it. All right, this hole seems pretty straight. Let's take advantage of this, try and get a birdie, huh? Come on, let's go. Birdie season. Oh, all right. Let's go. Let's go birdie. Boom, okay. Finally. All right, now we got something in play. Let's, oh, that's why I love golf. It's a little what's in the bag right now. Well, figuring that out. I uh, got a couple parts of my bag that I am absolutely in love with. First being my new Scotty Cameron Newport 3. I love this putter. I actually bought it off my buddy Alex. Um, met him last year playing golf and uh, he let me borrow it for a round and I shot my career best, 76, at uh, Blue Springs in Ontario. Um, so, safe to say I've been obsessed with that putter and when he bought his new Scotty Cameron, I uh, very quickly uh, bought that off him. So, love that, love that. Second part of my bag that I love are my Ping uh, Glide 3.0 wedges. I have the 52 degree and the 60. Um, I don't like playing three like a 52, a 56, and a 60, or whatever combination. Um, 56 never seemed to work for me. I just never got the gapping right, so I'd rather play, you know, my 52 and my 60. Um, and the reason why I got the ping uh, with the glide is from watching that TXG review with the wet test, I play a ton of morning rounds, and I was, I just, I needed something that was gonna work. And you'll see later on this channel, my home course in Toronto, it's tough and <laughs> it's tough in the mornings. So they were they were a really big help. Um, but I would say the most excited about anything I am in my bag right now. Actually, that's a lie. I got two. 
One is my new TaylorMade UDI two iron. I had the gapper before, I couldn't hit that thing. Oh my, like, I don't know what it was. I was like, when I would hit it, it would be awesome. But then, oh, sometimes it was just horrendous. So I love this and again, bought it used and the guy I bought it off of got the upgraded, um, the Aerotech steel fiber shaft. I don't know if you can see that. Um, which I actually had no idea what it was when I got it, but works for me. But my favorite, favorite thing, I got a set of Nike VR Pro combos. Uh, new iron, well, they're not new irons, they're new irons to me. I bought them used. So it's blades from pitching wedge to eight iron. And then with a seven iron, it goes to a cavity. And then the four iron, which I really love, is like a cavity, but it's got like this air pocket, see? Super interesting. And it's honestly been like one of the easiest four irons I've hit. So kind of lucked into that. But anyway, enough about the bag. Let's, uh, let's hit this shot. It is wet. It is a mud ball. I have no idea. Let's just uh, hit it this flag front pin. Please be kind. Please be kind. It was a bit long, but uh, it's, uh, it's workable. So remember to hit this with some, with some speed, even though it's downhill. Just don't want to leave it short. That's okay. That's okay. points on the board. Let's do it. Alright, feeling really good after that birdie. Um, try not to get too excited because then I will most definitely I'm not gonna say it because I'm not gonna put the bad uh, the bad energy out there. Okay so this hole see the bunker out there if you could fly the bunker or just play it off to the right you're good. I've been kind of hitting a bit of a cut all day. So uh, let's hope this uh, natural shot tape works. No idea what's over there. Uh oh. <laughs> right on the fringe, get it to roll out. Right. A little further than the fringe. Oh, hi, clean. More speed. All that. All right. I think that's. All right. Well, that last hole sucked. Let's uh, let's get some redemption here. All right, off the mats. We can get some extra. 
spin. Maybe. All right, back pin. Back pin. Green looks like it's sloped. Just gonna try and sling a little draw in there. See what happens. I'll take the part. All right, here we are on the ninth hole for today. And uh, not gonna lie, there's one thing I dislike. It's holes next to a road. Now, I like to think I can swing pretty good, but the road is like a magnet. And I never understood why they had to put holes so close to roads. So uh, let's not hit a car. Now, first you listen to make sure no cars are coming. All right, here's our window. All right. Nice little low cut there. All right, not a bad drive. Again, we're getting no rollout whatsoever. It's par five. Now, I don't have a three wood in my bag because I don't own one. So I got my driver, I got my two iron, and then I still gotta figure out, you know, my gapping from uh, three wood and probably add a hybrid. So in this case, I'm probably gonna smoke a two iron and uh, pray I hit it nice enough that uh, gives ourselves a nice little approach in for, uh, for birdie. ended up not really sure how it stayed on there and didn't roll back but uh, okay we're gonna putt it because if I chip it most likely I'm gonna skull the crap out of it and off the green so we're gonna make the more logical approach logic is highly debatable I guess Sit down. Come on, Gabe. All right. Well, that concludes episode one of my first golf vlog. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with my nonsense. Um, where this channel goes from here, you're just gonna have to subscribe and, and see. Um, I'm really excited, a lot of a golf adventures coming and uh, it's gonna be great. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for seeing what uh, round one of my first golf vlog ever looks like. So cheers, enjoy. <laughs>